So we are going to work on practice sheet 10, and I thought we would go in and start with number one. Right now, this is what we are working on in class a lot. We are going to be doing equations and inequalities. So I thought we would go on and start with this together. So on number one, remember your purpose is to get the letter by itself, okay? So in the end, basically I wanna get N equals. Whatever this number equals, that means it's going to make this side equal to this side. I need this side equal to 13. Okay? So, if you've been paying attention in class, you know the first step is to get rid of add or subtract if you see it. So, my variable's on the left. I see a minus next to it, so I want to get rid of minus 7. So, in order to get rid of minus 7, we do the opposite and we do plus seven. So remember that means we have zero pairs, okay? Seven zero pairs on the left. So I still have n over four on the left because this went to zero. And over this side, on the right side, I have 13 plus seven, which is equal to 20. Okay, now, I know a lot of you think this kind of problem looks scary because this looks like a fraction, but I want you to remember that this is division. So, I'm actually going to do the opposite of division. What's opposite of divide? Multiply, right? So, I don't have to divide anything. I'm actually going to be multiplying and you multiply by 4. So I'm going to do the same things to both sides. And I'm just doing it in a different color so that you can see what exactly it is that I'm doing to each side. Okay? So now I have 4 times 4 and divide by 4. So 4 up and 4 down, that goes to 1. Those divide and I get 1 in. Now I have 20 times 4 which gives me 80, okay? So my answer is 80. Now just to prove it, okay, I'm gonna do this kind of fast because it's just a proof here. N is 80, so I see N here. 80 divided by four, I know that one. 80 divided by four is 20, so that's 20. 20 minus seven is 13. So we did it correct, okay? So here's my answer. This was just a check. Okay, now number two. This is still giving people some trouble, so we're going to do it together. Gary walked nine and one-third miles last week. This week he walked half that distance. How far did he walk this week, okay? So last week, nine and one-third and remember to take half, we divide by 2. You can do that or you can multiply by a half. Either way, it's going to end up being the same exact answer, okay? But I think most of you relate half with dividing by 2. So remember, since we're dealing with fractions here, we want to make sure this is improper. Okay, so Texas. So, what's 3 times 9 plus 1? 3 times 9, 27, plus 1 is 28 over 3. So that's improper. Divide by 2 over 1. And remember, we do keep, change, flip. Keep, 28 over 3, flip, I'm sorry, change and flip, and our special word for flip, of course, is reciprocal. I'm going to write that out here just as a reminder. Reciprocal, okay? And I hope you can see this okay. I'm honestly wondering if I need to switch pins. So I might end up having to switch pins so you can see this better. Okay, so right here, hope this pin works, let me just check, 
course it's not working. And pause. Okay, so I've got a better pin here. So now these are both even, right? This is one, one and done. That won't work. Uh, simplify or there's not a relationship. So here these both divide by two, okay? Because they're both even. So two divided by two, one. 28 divided by 2, or half of 28 is 14, okay? So I, th yeah, I think, definitely think you can see that better. So now I have 14 times 1, 3 times 1, and of course I want to make sure this becomes a mixed number. Now, if you can change this to a mixed number in your head, be my guest. If not, that's okay. We just will show our work right here. Okay, so 3 into 14. So if you don't know, we list it. Okay, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 is too big. So it goes in 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 4 is my whole number. I'm going to write it big here to the side because this is what I want you doing, especially if you're at home, so that I can see your answer. 4 times 3, 12, how much is left? 2, and remember that always goes on top, and the denominator stays the same, which is 3. So I'm going to put that right here. Notice I'm writing this large so I can see it, okay? Please make sure you darken your answer so that I can see them, okay? Um, 3, I think y'all can do that because 3, it says make a mixed number. We do it just like this from here to there. That's how you do it. You divide it, right? So let's look at number 4. Number 4, it's not integers, but we treat it like integers. So we start here. This is add, subtract. This is not a triangle problem, okay? So which way does this start on the number line? to the left, right? Now, don't look at this anymore and just look at minus, okay? Normal subtraction. Which way does normal subtraction go? Hopefully you know it also goes left, right? Because normal subtraction gets smaller, so it moves to the left. So let's look at these arrows. What can you tell me? Same, sum, add. So we're actually going to add these to the left. So, since everything's to the left, I'm going to go in and put my negative sign. Notice I put a pretty big negative sign there, and I'm going to put a box. Because your job, without my help, is to add these up. And whatever you get, it's going to go inside this box. Okay, because it's like we're adding to the left, it's getting more negative. Okay, um, and now I want to talk about number six because we have a lot of people missing these and you'll see me, I've been giving lots of examples. So for instance, if I want to change 3% to a decimal, well my decimal is right here if I don't see it. I have to move it one, two. Okay, because remember 3% is the same as 3 over 0, 0. 100. Well, this is three hundredths. Well, some of you are getting confused because you see a decimal here. Well, it is decimal, but this is a percent. We want to make this a decimal, not a percent. Okay, so I'm going to move it one, two. So that will be point zero four two. Okay, number seven, I'm going to read it but you're going to solve it, okay? It is, Jenna is saving up money to buy gifts for her mom for her birthday. One gift costs this much, and the other costs this much. These costs already include tax, so don't even worry about tax. If Jenna has saved $50, how much more will she need in order to save, like to get these two gifts, okay? So I'm going to let you all do that.